I'm Josh Pruitt, and I'm a physician at Unity Point Cedar Rapids St. Luke's Hospital Emergency Department. Um, I decided to become a doctor uh, based on really two events. Uh, one was the birth of a cousin very prematurely, and I spent a lot of time at the hospital as a high schooler uh, while he was in the neonatal ICU and got exposed to medicine that way. And then uh, when I was a senior in high school, my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I've kind of gone through that journey with her as well. And so those two events really kind of drove me to really pursue medicine as a career. What's a typical day in the emergency department? It's something not typical. It's gonna, things are gonna change on a dime. And, and I really enjoy that part of it as well. One of the really nice things and neat things about practicing in Cedar Rapids, practicing at St. Luke's, is just all of the support that we're able to have in the emergency department. I can get uh, consults from, from specialists at really a moment's notice. So we can really provide that specialized, unique care that each patient needs with, without, uh, without much trouble. Um, we're able to get access to um, neurosurgeons, neurologists, cardiologists at a, moment no at a moment's notice. Um, this is a very, um, this is a very neat community. I, I was able to become a part of this community in 2007, just before the flood, and um, and was able to then go and uh, go downtown and do sandbagging for uh, for during the flood in 2008, and and seeing the the unity in the community really come together and work together, it it just showed kind of what a special place this is. And I'm not from here, uh, but we decided to put roots down here in Cedar Rapids because of that community atmosphere. It's really a neat place to live and work. The team here is excellent. Uh, our, our, starting with our positions, all of us are board certified in emergency medicine, so you know that everyone's gonna get excellent care. Um, they've passed all of the boards that they need to to be able to provide that excellent care. Um, we have PAs and nurse practitioners who are incredibly experienced and talented with the care that they give in the emergency department. Um, I would place our nursing staff second to none. Um, they are they are willing to help out in any way that they can. Um, these are skilled um, providers. I'm the medical director for Lifeguard Air Ambulance based out of St. Luke's Hospital here in Cedar Rapids and um, it's really one of the most fun parts of my job. I work with a, a great team of uh, paramedics and nurses that take really take the care that we ha give in the emergency department out into the community and start the care sooner there and provide that critical care transport back into the hospital, whether it's here at St. Luke's or taking them to another area hospital that at the patient's choice or, or whatever. And uh, it's, it's just an incredible asset to our community to be able to have that rapid. Patients who come to St. Luke's to the emergency department, what I hope they take away from an encounter with me is that, that I really come to work every day caring. I, I care about people's, um, people's outcomes how they are able to go from the emergency department back home and live their lives as normally as possible. And, um, you know, we wanna, we wanna take care of the immediate need, but we also wanna make sure that they've got the follow-up that they need in order to be, continue to have healthy lives. Um, I'm going to hopefully take that extra time with each patient to talk about things like smoking or weight loss or things that are gonna affect their long-term care as well. Because while I'm here for the emergent problem, if I only fix the emergency and I don't address anything else about, about their health, I don't always know that they're gonna get that follow-up appointment with their primary care physician in, the, in a timely manner. So, so the way I kind of approach emergency medicine is yes, I wanna be here for the emergency, but I wanna know that you're gonna go home and that you're gonna have all the tools that you need to succeed at home as well. For good days are different from one day to the next. Um, there's something good about every day. Um, every day that we're able to be here and able to help people and able to see people um, impacted with whatever emergency they came in with um, and go home, that's a good day. So I just love what I do.